In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on sets. All right, we've got a problem here which reads like this. It says, for any two sets A and B, prove that A union B equals A intersection B is equal to A, and A equal to B. Or rather, you need to read this like this. If A union B equals A intersection B, then that is equal to A equal to B and vice versa. If A equals to B, then A union B equals A intersection B. All right. So that is what this means. So first of all, let us take, let the set A be equal to B. Then we have A union B equal to A and A intersection B equal to A, which implies that A union B equal to A intersection B, right? Thus, a equal to B implies that A union B equals A intersection B. So this we've arrived by assuming that let A be equal to B. If A is equal to B, then A union B equals A intersection B. All right. Now let's come in the other way around. Now let A union B equal to A intersection B. So now if these two are equal, we have to prove that A equals B. So for this, let us assume that X belongs to A. That means X is an element of A. All right. So if X belongs to A, it implies that X also belongs to A union B. It implies that X also belongs to A intersection B. And eventually it implies that X belongs to B as well because everything is equal to everything, right? When X belongs to A, A is equal to A union B, all right? So X belongs to A union B as well and then X belongs to A intersection B because we've taken that A union B because we've taken that A union B equal to A intersection B. So therefore, if X belongs to A union B, it also belongs to A intersection B. And if it belongs to both, then it definitely belongs to B as well. So from this we can conclude that A is a subset of B. Right? From this we can conclude that A is a subset of B because X belongs to A as well, X belongs to B as well. Therefore, A is a subset of B. We are still not talking about B being a subset of A or not. So for that, we need to assume let Y belong to B and that implies that Y belongs to A union B. And that implies Y belongs to A intersection B. That implies that Y belongs to A as well. All right. So from this, we can say that. Therefore, B is a subset of A as well because Y belongs to B and as well as to A. So therefore, B is a subset of A. So now let's say. Let's consider this is equation one and let's consider this is equation two. So from equations 1 and 2, we can say that A equals B because both of them are subsets of each other, right? So that is why A equals to B as well. Thus, we can say that A union B equals A intersection B implies that A equals to B, right? So here A equal to B implies that A union B equals A intersection B and here it implies that a union B and here it says that A union B equals A intersection B implies A equals B. So therefore, from this equation, this equation, we can write that A union B equal to A intersection B implies both ways or double implies that A equals B. So this can be read from both the sides. Both of them imply this. That's what it means. So therefore, we proved it. So before I end this uh, problem there by ending the video, let me briefly explain what we've done here. What we've done here is first we've taken let A equal to B. From there we've come down to show that A union B equals A intersection B. In this in this part of the problem we've taken A union B equal to we've assumed that A union B let it be equal to A intersection B. From there we've started and then we've ended at A being equal to B. So that's what we've implied through this. So when you can do that both ways this stands valid and therefore it can be true. Alright, so that ends this problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on sets.